This tiny unlighted sign is just off the town square in Ashland City, Tennessee. But don't blink or you might miss this very special place called Cody's. The message on this little plaque just outside the entrance certainly holds true. The charming facade may not be something you'd find in a fancy restaurant chain. However, the story inside is bright, cheerful, and touching. It's one about patience, perseverance, and determination. <laughs> With years of restaurant experience between them, Clay and April Reisner had a desire to open their own place, but that would have to wait. I started at Shoney's um, during high school. I started waiting tables after school and just stayed there for 20 years and worked my way up to management. I always wanted in my own restaurant. When I had the opportunity, we just ran with it. Holiday Inn, you have to proceed through their food and beverage department and university because the university passed all that, so it helped me a lot. Plus, I like to eat and I like to cook. <laughs> the peas out. April and Clay agree that the first key to success is having good food. Well, the menu at Cody's is unique. It all starts bright and early with a big country breakfast made to order and smothers the plates. When April opens up. She gets here about 5.30, 6 o'clock. We on seven. And we only serve till three. And it's uh, Monday through uh, Saturday. And it gets hectic right here sometimes. That's what we want. <laughs> April and Clay also wanted a place that would be a gathering spot for folks to just hang out and catch up on the happenings around town. In the mornings, we have a coffee table that sit there and shoot the breeze. What they talk about Monday will still be Friday that they're still talking about. You know, it's bib overhauls and that's the way they are. In fact, their customers are like extended family. Some come in several times a week, others several times a day. And you don't have to have a calendar to know what day of the week it is because each day has its own lunch specials. There's meatloaf Monday, salmon Tuesday, and on it goes with hits like liver and onions. We sell the crap out of liver and onions. I mean, I don't, it stinks, but, and salmon today, it stinks, but I think it's people that don't want to cook that at home, stink their kitchen up, you know, come out. I wouldn't blame them, I wouldn't cook it like that. They have fresh ground cheeseburgers and fries, plus Southern comfort foods baked up or fried up by clay. We wanted, like I mentioned before, we wanted to make it Good quality food and, you know, good price. And I think people would come around and do it. And Ashland City proved that. They, thanks to Ashland City, we're still here. They like it. You know, people look for a place where you get good service and you get good food and plenty of it. If you yeah. go away hungry, it's your fault. <laughs> and with an ever-changing dessert menu, you're sure to find a temptation you can't pass up. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate y'all. And another success factor is that feel-good experience from the time you walk in until the time you leave. In the restaurant business, I've been in, I know if, if you don't have the right people, you're going, it's not going to work because you need help. And we've had lucky been having some good people here to work for us. And that's, that's helped us. My mother, until she died last year, used to wash tables here. My sister is a server here. So, I mean, it's all really family. I have a grandson. Clay Reisner, who does dishes on the weekends. And when you come into Cody's, there are no reservations and certainly no seating charts. And you sit wherever you can. You guys mind if I join you? Have a seat with us. All right. April and Clay are determined for Cody's to beat the odds that small businesses face, especially restaurants. It's hard sometimes, but you just got to keep going. You want to make it reasonable where people will eat in here and still make a living. I'm not going to make it rich by this at all, but I love doing what I'm doing, so if I can pay the bills, we're all right. <laughs> the restaurant's namesake is their son, and the odds were once stacked against him. This is why Cody is their inspiration to keep pleasing patrons near and far. When he was in West Cheatham Elementary, he got diagnosed with AML leukemia. Um, we went through 18 rounds of chemo, and they, um, told us there was three options. We could take him home because there was nothing, because his cancer kept growing. And if we went into transplant, they gave us 10% chance of him making it. Because he was so young, we had to give him that 10% chance. So 
this year will be um, 10 years, February 12th, cancer free, so it's our new birthday, so. Yes, Cody is a survivor, and he serves as a reason to all those associated with this diner to ensure its success. It's clear that determination and perseverance are qualities the Reisners embrace. It's what has helped them through their most difficult times. It may be a tiny place in a small community, but they certainly demonstrate how big their hearts are here at Cody's.